right now. Maria Bartiromo, she has an exclusive story in the banking industry, and we've got Maria on the phone right now. Maria, give us the exclusive details. I have learned that tonight MetLife has filed a judgment once again uh, pushing back on a too-big-to-fail designation. That is SIFI, or Systemically Important Financial Institution. Now, tonight, MetLife has filed a response to the government filing, uh, which, of course, was a filing after the initial appeal, which happened in January from MetLife. The bottom line here, Charles, is that yesterday's judgment uh, on AIG, that, in fact, Judge Wheeler ruled that the government was illegal in acquiring AIG, is basically empowering the industry. And tonight, what we have are recap sheets on a 70-page filing from MetLife to the government pushing back on this designation that MetLife is a systemically important financial institution. And, you know, I could read you a couple of the lines. They're basically saying that the government erred, made a mistake in claiming that more than 85 percent of MetLife's activities are deemed financial under the statutory definition and that the company is therefore eligible for designation as a non-bank systemically important institution. They're also saying that the government has failed to consider MetLife's vulnerability to financial distress, contrary to the statute and its own rule, and in violation of the basic tenets of predictive judgment making. What you see happening here, basically, Charles, is the insurance industry is seeing what happened with Hank Greenberg and AIG yesterday, and even though there were no damages paid out, they are saying the door is now open to debate that the pendulum has swung too far in terms of Dodd-Frank and the regulatory environment right now. Maria, uh, you know, I spoke about this again this morning uh, with Hank Greenberg, and you're absolutely right. Uh, it feels like Judge Wheeler has opened the doors, and uh, the big question now is, uh, or will there be any more bailouts, and if, will we go back and relitigate some of the older bailouts? MetLife next. Uh, this is obviously a big scoop. Where do you think it goes from here? Well, basically, there will be a hearing in the fall. I do not think you'll hear from Steve Kandarian, the CEO of MetLife, before then. They are going to want to get uh, their ducks in order and make sure that they're not saying anything beyond what is in this filing tonight. This filing uh, was, was put through tonight. There's going to be a lot of talk about it tomorrow and opening up of this discussion of what happens the next time around in terms of bailouts and whether or not the government has overreached in not just AIG, but a, a number of cases during the financial crisis and during distress. Wow, Maria. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll definitely uh, be looking forward to watching your show for that and other reasons. Uh, again, uh, you, you, we've also got uh, some, ex uh, some exclusive tomorrow. We want to let the audience know you're going to be joined by Eric Trump, Donald Trump's son and the executive vice president at the Trump Organization, to discuss his father's plans to jump into the 2016 race. you got a big show ahead. That's tomorrow morning. starts at 8 a.m. Well, that's, uh, that's at a.m., but your show starts at 7 a.m. in yeah, a lot. You know, Charles, we're gonna sorry. Be, yeah, we're going to be on at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Mornings with Maria is live from 6 to 9. And in addition, Mayor Giuliani is just back from Paris. He had a meeting with uh, Islamic leaders who are trying to form a government in, uh, in, in Iran. So we're going to talk about that. Wow. <laughs> a must-watch show every morning, but especially tomorrow. Thank you very much, Maria. Thanks Great a scoop. lot, Charles. Have a good night.